that bit getting the lines wrong <laughs> anyway how is your sex life <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to order you a pizza whatever I don't care I already ordered pizza <laughs> you think of everything <laughs> fucking movie okay uh, let's see so <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Retroactive Gamers. Oh, oh hi you. everyone. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Don't remind me. So, today, we're gonna be playing a little bit of Scratch's Director's Cut. So, I played this game way, way back when I was about 10, I think, and... Oh, this game is awesome. It's really old. It's really, really interesting. It's a very simple point-and-click um, story horror game. Now, want a tip to play it? Okay. Well, let's do it. Uh, buddy. What? Buddy. What? Your phone. My phone. What? Oh, yes. <laughs> Start the episode. <laughs> <laughs> scratches. Scratches. Scratch, 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 scratch. Starring John Bell. Descendant of Alexander Graham Bell. <laughs> Jonathan Bokes. Bokeys. Mr. Anderson. Or Mrs. Anderson. I've been like non ironically listening to the soundtrack for this game for many years when I was high school. I'm very sad. Mama Nico. Mama Nico. Hey, is that a bomb shelter? Uh, is that a fountain? Fountain. It's a photo. Mommy, why is there a photo of Dad sleeping naked? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, honey, it's okay. <laughs> what a story, Mark! <laughs> <laughs> Manor one cold Saturday morning amidst a thick veil of fog. The weather didn't look good, and there was an unnatural calm surrounding the area. Yet, I soon became entangled with the place. This is gonna get um, some Delaware St. John vibes. That's exactly yeah. where I was thinking. Good old Delaware. Do we have to match colors? We have to match colors in the game for what? Oh, Delaware, <laughs> that's not the right color. Now we have to start all over again. Yeah, thankfully, not nothing like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this was a uh, this was a really interesting approach to uh, point and click. The imposing main gates are guarded in the entrance to the manor. You know what? Since I'm playing, I'm gonna let you read. Okay. <clears throat> vroom, vroom. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> it's weird how turning the turn signal makes the horn play. Yeah, really? <laughs> turn touching the dials. <laughs> uh, I think uh oh. oh. It was, uh, the car's starter. Uh, I think right-click opens up your inventory. Oh. The inventory. Inventory. Oh. <laughs> it just takes out the key, drives off, end credits. <laughs> oh, it was the boot of my car, which, considering the non-existent technical expertise, I hoped I would never need to open. Oh, that just turns you left and right and shit. Yeah, oh, this God, is like no. if you don't use the, the mouse. Well, the speedrunners, man. Yeah, man. It's going this way. Hmm. 
a hefty lock was preventing my entry in, in uh, to the garage. <laughs> the car key. <laughs> no, you uh, uh, open the inventory, click, and then right click to close the inventory, and then you can use it. The key didn't fit there. Delaware, that's not the right color. <laughs> yeah, now we have to start all fucking over again, you piece of shit. <laughs> Delaware, fuck you. <laughs> well, we got the key though, so can we just not just fucking drive off? Man, credits. That's right. I had only just arrived, and the idea of going uh of going driving again wasn't very tempting. All right, well, fine. I'm gonna butcher so many of these lines. That's the point. Okay, nothing else in there. I just thought that maybe you could open the the trunk with it, mm. but apparently not. All right, straight ahead, one direction, babe. Mm. Oh, no. Wow, this uh, sky is not really moving. Mm. Well, actually, it is. Oh no, it is. All right, I take it back. Hmm. Oh, that was a... <laughs> oh, okay, it's right there. That's a long-ass walk there. The massive double doors leading into the interior of this chapel were locked. <laughs> Let me inspect this. All right, so that's obviously not going to work on it the It was the door. key Jerry gave me to the Blackwood Manor. Well, you might as well try it. The key the didn't, key didn't fit. fit there. <laughs> the key was up my ass. You will have to remember to save because the game doesn't save for you. And if the game crashes for whatever reason because Windows 10... <laughs> well, let's just say I don't think we want to start this whole thing again. No. The door to the greenhouse was stuck, probably due to some serious rusting on its hinges. Wait, what's in there? Smashes the briefcase through. <laughs> the suitcase was holding some of my stuff and was awfully heavy. The loyal typewriter was inside that case. All right. Uh, how do I save this? Down there we go. Just in case. I think you need to click on one of the slots. Sure. <laughs> Game Slot save. number whatever. The door to the house was locked. Fortunately. What are you talking about fortunately? Yeah, if I can unlock that bad boy. All right, let's die. <laughs> With very little effort, the key unlocks the front door. Did you just shoot a shotgun? Nope. Maybe. <laughs> the majestic grandfather clock was gently ticking nearby. It was almost sleep-inducing, but I was glad it was working. Good to hear your voice. I see that piece of junk you got there is working. My thoughts exactly. I was afraid it'd fall apart as soon as I laid my fingers on it. So how did you find everything? Do you like the place? It's hard to tell yet. I just I'm walked in the fucking door. <laughs> you sound odd. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, yes. It's perfectly fine. It's just that I'm in awe. I mean, pleasantly surprised. This house is like a dream come true. Oh, yes. Now you do like it. I'm telling you, I'm going to turn this place into a factory of horror stories. Good. You ought to finish that book. I'm rooting for you, mate. You sure everything is in order? Well, I just got here. Let me have a look around, and I'll get back to you if I find anything strange. Excellent. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about calling Jerry, but I couldn't remember his number in London. <laughs> That's just a one way I'm a bound 69. I intend to brighten up the whole place, but to to my surprise, the lights wouldn't work.
A dried up piece of shit was... <laughs> 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 I guess this is what happens when you don't water the plants for a long time. Mm-hmm. I guess so. The merchant picks up the bullet-ridden rock and says, Get out of here, you filthy hobo. Napkins. Tablecloths, napkins. That certainly isn't my thing. Alright, so there's nothing else in there? Cool. Mm, fine. Fuck you, then. This is like amnesia before amnesia. Mm. Ooh, okay, there's definitely gonna be something in here. A little drawer wouldn't open. He said the little drawer wouldn't <laughs> open. <laughs> there's a bunch of unresting books. An interesting books. Unresting books. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher this in every way possible. Ooh, the place full of exquisite, albeit aged, candelabras. Okay, nothing of interest in there. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. What do we get here? The envelope was empty. Huh. What's this? This was my journal. Ooh, this house is amazing, far beyond my wildest dreams. Jerry's efforts have truly exceeded my expectations. I'd better get acquainted right away. Jerry says that... Thank you. I'm sorry, I accidentally <laughs> right-clicked. <laughs> that right. was my journal. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry says the electrician should be on his way to solve the light's problems. I feel relieved. Oh, so we have no power. Yep. It seems the house is out of power. <laughs> oh, so we have no power. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have everything, I guess. Hopefully it's just a minor glitch. But I should tell Jerry. Well, we didn't when we were on the phone. <laughs> Dumbass. Mm -hmm. I think that was after. Oh. What's this? A Letter rusty opener? screwdriver shoved up my ass. It looked like a boring tool. Oh. <laughs> cool boring, Mark. <laughs> See what you did there, Mark. It was locked. Oh. Why don't I look for a fucking key? Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, go ahead. February 6th. The construction of the railway bridge is almost complete and went quite smoothly. I took longer than expected, yet... Or it, it took, took longer, longer than expected. Yet I wish it would have lasted longer. I'll be very sad to leave South Africa. I've become so attached to it. It's culture, it's arts, over the past few months, that I can't help feeling as it was already a part of me. I will surely return someday. Soon, hopefully. Although I'm afraid there's a great deal of work to be taken back at the old Britain. Fortunately, I made a good friend... Uh, fortunately, I made good friends here, who were ecstatic about my new appreciation for their country. They have offered me some... They've offered you some. They've offered me some wonderful objects as a token of gratitude, which I have already... <laughs> which you have already? <laughs> You're gonna get cancelled. <sighs> They've offered me some wonderful objects as a token of gratitude, which I have already what, created and got ready to ship. Along with many trinkets I bought myself. Uh, it looks like I'm about to start a very substantial collection. Serious new hobby. Mm. It's a good thing Catherine agreed to move into the new home, although I fear several renovations will have to be made. Even more, uh, even more if I'm intending to start a serious new hobby. It seems that I have to get back to work. John Patterson has just told me that some natives are Dinkelberg. Causing, <laughs> are causing trouble. Or more like Gurg. No, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah you're <is> canceled. <laughs> um, a very fortunate thing of, uh, or very unfortunate thing. Although I'm seeing, I'm secretly rejoicing. Mm. February sec, uh, twelfth. Jesus, we're going back in time. <laughs> Fe February twelfth. The natives won't leave. It's not like they're causing trouble, so much as they're unsettling our workers. The only complaint so far is that it's been a distraction. 
they just stand still between the trees, staring at us without the blinking forest. an eye. Hmm? The forest. Oh, the forest. The yeah, that's right. <laughs> the climbing the trees. I've watched them for. <laughs> this reminds me of your story when you threw dynamite under a tree. Oh man, it wouldn't get out, so I threw the dynamite. They just stand. They just stand still between uh, between the trees, staring at us without blinking an eye. I've watched them for a few minutes, and they truly seem like some. Uh, what is it? Tembro statues. Is that it? Tambros? Mm. Tamabros. Tanabros statues. At first it was just annoying, but lately it has become downright creepy. They seem to be stalking us. So it's not like they're hi um, hindering. Oh yeah. So it's not like they're hindering <laughs> the construction. I can't Batman words! <laughs> it's not like they're hindering the construction, but there's a general uneasy feeling as if they're they were about to jump at us at any moment. I think I will hire some protection as a measure of precaution. Fuck. <laughs> You're right now, fuck this. No. Well, it's it is a pretty good story though. It is. Honestly. It's it ties okay. into the backstory to what what the thing is about. We'll just we'll just have it slowly go and we'll just read it to ourselves. Okay. Well, I mean fascinating. I've been looking f into these natives. They live in a nearby village and are very small group yet they seem to manage quite well i had thought of them as quite a civilized tribe but their movements their movements are calculated and one can perceive a sense of careful organization in their task oddly enough they seem to be very british british yeah what's the word the brutish brutish and their aspects uh and their aspect looks awful, although I couldn't take a good look at their facial features. Yeah, okay, so brutish. <laughs> yeah, they were brutish. Brutish. Although I couldn't take a good look at their facial features, as I followed one of them completely on my own. And it couldn't have been... It could have been dangerous getting any closer. Also, the village is poor and very rough. But some of the shacks... Oh, shacks leapt at us. Inviting us. Okay, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> the way I'm reading this. Okay. Although the village is poor and very rough, but some of the shacks also, the village leapt poor. at us. Yeah, yep. leapt at us. Inviting. Leapt out as inviting. Or in okay. Fuck it, you read it. No, it's fine. <laughs> okay. February 16th. My second exposition to the village of the natives has been... Uh, been failed by an unexpected problem at the bridge. I'm afraid it was due to a slight miscalculation on my part, an indication that I should be focusing more on the task at hand and put my sudden love for all African things aside for the moment. Uh, it, was my fa it was my fault and I accept it. February 20th. They're at it again, barking beyond the forest. It's amazing. Lurking. Oh, lurking, sorry. Lurking beyond the forest. Uh, it's amazing how they've changed our perception of our surroundings. At first, we were delighted by the quiet nature of this place. Now, we fear what horrors might be concealed in that dark, foreboding forest. Foreboding cloak of the forest. Yeah. Uh, the taps... Oh, the tops loom above us, ever overshadowing the bridge, and strange noises haunt us... Uh, haunt our meals. Even the river... Telling ungodly secrets. We could be, of course, a bit more sensitive towards the distractions, but I can't help feeling that the area has, in fact, become more sinister. And yet, I'm still looking forward to the satisfying my curiosity about the tribe. Uh, February 24th. At last, I found something about the neighboring tribe. There's an incredible finding that I just can't withhold my excitement. Some elders at the local town happen to know about them, by, but on, uh, only through stories they heard. The most surprising thing is that the tribe was assumed to be extinct long ago, but according to my vague descriptions, the elders think that we could be dealing with a legend uh, here. Everything they l ever learned during uh, of them was during their childhood when the tribe was stalking the town much the same way that they've been stalking us. People used to call them... Diums? Di Di Diums? Diums. Um, as such was the sound of screams heard echoing in the night. Uh, they'd come into the streets and see an evil glitter atop a hill in the distance. Some would say that it was a fire. Uh, others, the cursed spoil... What? Spirit. Uh, the um, cursed spirit of an ancient god, whatever it was. They say the bright light 
uh, amid the fantastic screams was bone chilling. Uh, the macabre. The macabre. Uh, oh, I can't. Macabre. The macabre. It's a French, isn't it? Mm. The macabre scene would suddenly stop just as it begun out of nowhere, never to be seen again days to come. Intervals between these horrible nights became longer and longer until they soon faded into oblivion. The tribe apparently had retreated back into obscurity until now. They were later known as the Dalmar, a rather mm. more scientific name, although none of the people I spoke with could possibly remember the, its origin. Uh, I find it extremely surprising that nobody has ever heard about the tribe with this exception of a few townspeople. They must be incredibly rare, uh, and judging from the stories passed from generations in the town, very old. Uh, I can read it. Yeah. I will confess that I've become nearly obsessed with this strange tribe. I see them as most prized goal for my appreciation towards all South African things. A dangerous yet irresistible reward. I feel as if they were my discovery. I simply have to study them before leaving. I fear I won't have the chance to ever again. It has become my important goal in... It's become an important goal of mine. Of mine. Even more important than fishing the bright or finishing, finishing the bring <laughs> finishing the bridge the bring <laughs> see it we'll is a to, it is a co-op game we have to both tackle this fucking we'll cursive we'll have to finish reading this in, in the, the next, next episode. episode thank you everybody so much for watching check out our other content on retroactivegamers.com including the merchandise and minigames that's right check out our tech rise on steam our video game yes finishing the bridge finishing, <laughs> fini I said fishing fi the bridge fishing the bride <laughs> We'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, this, this is Retroactive, Retroactive Gamers, Gamers Signing the Bride. <laughs> <laughs>